If you want to create a circle path that can be opened later, you should first make sure you are creating a bezier path. If you simply drag a circle with the circle shape tool, you will not create a bezier shape but a parametric shape. You can see the difference if you take a look at what's inside the ellipse path in the timeline. This ellipse has size and position controls, but not a path stopwatch, so we know it's a parametric shape. We can't open parametric shapes and we can't select single vertex points from them, so let's delete this circle. To create a bezier path instead of a parametric shape, you hold down Alt when you start dragging. We're also holding down Shift just to make a perfect circle. Looking at the contents of this ellipse, we can see a path stopwatch but not the size and position controls, which means this is the right kind of path for opening. In order to make this path non-closed, we first create an extra vertex with the Add Vertex tool. Then we select these two nearby points, and choose Layer, Mask and Shape, and uncheck Closed. The path is now open, and we can start modifying the circle. Thanks for watching and see you next time on 1minutevideotutorials.com.